Give it up right now for Kesley Chlorine. So I wanted to give a little bit back. Uh, so I'm going to read a piece that I wrote a couple months after I was done with treatment for breast cancer. And this is about five years ago, so it, I probably should have edited this, but it was already on Facebook, so I'm just going to read it. So I call this piece Strength. I haven't really chatted with too many other cancer survivors. From what I can tell, most of us hate it when people who, you're so strong at us. Really stupid people add, I could never deal with it. Or worse yet, something to the tune of, God only gives us what we're strong enough to handle. <laughs> so far I've never met anyone that dumb, but I imagine that if I do, that'll be the day I learn what it feel like to punch someone in the teeth. <laughs> to those who haven't had cancer, I'm sure these things sound like a compliment. However, the implication, to my ears anyway, is that somehow we got cancer because we are strong. This is, of course, 100% bullshit. Most of us are fairly average people. We're not extraordinary, we're not super men and women. At one po some point, one of our cells rolled a one and we got cancer. Simple. We're not initially stronger, I wouldn't say we're picked by God, or whatever. If we're lucky, we find out what we have in time to treat it, and perhaps beat it. Choosing treatment doesn't make us strong. Going through with surgery, or radiation, or chemotherapy doesn't mean we're somehow mightier than others. It's a pretty straightforward choice. It's treatment or death. Well, it's perhaps not as cool as simple as cake or death. It's still mostly that easy. Unless treatment will really suck and possibly no good, but the intensity and odds vary per case. I didn't exactly fancy cutting off my breasts and mutilating my abdomen to make new ones, or to get pumped full of poison every two weeks for four months. I never even wanted plastic surgery or lipo or any of that nonsense. Strength? I wanted to live. I got shit to do. Strength and cancer are tied, though. Not in the way everybody implies, but in how you are afterward. It is a crucible of a kind, where you find out who you are under the everyday worries and fears and the inevitable drama of everyday life. During treatment, your whole life gets put on hold, so you can focus on your one task, surviving. You don't have the attention for anything else, not really. Even if you're working or taking classes, they don't occupy much of your brain, and your friends and family are appreciated, but you're certainly not going to be able to put effort into them. Afterward, Everything that used to bother you just doesn't. Not making much money? Well, you're healthy enough to work. School got you stressed. You're around to be stressed. Your ex being a jerk. People have crawled out of the woodwork to help you. Who cares about your ex? The strength cancer gives you after all is said and done is that of perspective. It's easier to apologize for being an ass, or to haul yourself out of bed at stupid o'clock in the morning, or to let go of a friendship that's become a sunk cost because these tiny problems are simply not as big of a deal anymore. It's like throwing pebbles at the Great Wall of China where you used to have a pane of glass. Not really an issue. We come out change. It's as dramatic as emerging from a chrysalis, or pulling a newly forged sword from the quenching water, or creating a pot out of clay. Your smaller insecurities get burned away, and even if there's damage both inside and out, it's recoverable. Sometimes I'm staggered how different I am now, a year and a quarter since it all started. I feel like I've matured a good 10 years, and I'm grateful for it. I'm not pleased with how it happened, but dear God, the results almost make up for it. I hope that every survivor feels this way after it's all over. We go through hell, but coming back to Earth is that much sweeter afterward. And we are stronger for it. 